Hello, and welcome to the Red Fox Report, presented by the Mayor's Center for Sports Communication. I'm Nick Vete. And I'm Patrick Taylor. And today we bring you action from football, men's basketball, and men's cross country. But we start with women's basketball, where Mayors travel to Wisconsin, looking to avoid their first 0-3 start to the season since 2016. In the first quarter, Mayors trailing by six. Jasmine Kondrakowicz lines up the triple to extend Green Bay's lead to nine. Green Bay closed the first quarter on a 9-2 run. Start of the second half, Mayor is still trailing by nine. Kendall Crick with the driving kick to Juliana Benilla, who hits the corner three. Marist cuts the deficit to six. Two minutes left in the third. Green Bay pulling away. Haley Oski with the pretty running floater. Oski finished this one with a game high 19 points. But just moments later, Oski throws a difficult cross board pass here to Sydney Levy, who drills one with a hand in her face. Green Bay shot 41% from behind the arc as a team. But they weren't done yet. As seconds remaining on the clock, Kondrakowicz with the nifty post move to score at the buzzer. Green Bay ends up dominating this one by a final score of 74 to 45. We head down to the Bluegrass State of Kentucky, where it was Moorhead State hosting Mares. We'll pick up the action with the score tied 7 7. It's Glenmore Leonard Osborne who fields the kickoff inside the 10. He turns it to the far side of the field. Finds a lane, his big man downfield lays a block for him, and he's off to the races now. GLO takes it 94 yards to the house. He would also tack on a rushing touchdown later in this game while leading the Red Foxes in total yards with 214. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, now Moorhead State deep in Maris territory, and a fourth down opportunity. QB Colin Parachek, he finds Christian Graves on the crosser, and that's going to tie this one up at 21 apiece. With just over five minutes left to go in the game now, Brock Bogosi, he takes the snap, scans the field. It's Brett Landis who's streaking down the sideline here, and that's a 32-yard completion for the Red Foxes. Landis would lead the team in receiving yards with 72 on the day, and Maris would score a touchdown on the ensuing play. With fourth down and a yard to go, Moorhead State looking for an answer, but Jack Ibb, he blows up the play behind the line of scrimmage. Parachek collects the fumble, though. He finds a receiver downfield, and that's an apparent first down to extend the drive. The refs confer, though, and they deem a fumble by rule cannot be advanced on a fourth down play. The Foxes celebrate the ruling as Maris would knock in a field goal and win the game 31-21. to In cross country this past Friday, the Maris men's cross team competed in the NCAA Northeast Regional Meet in the Bronx and were led by senior standout Ramsey Little once again. Little placed 14th in the 10K course with a time of 29 minutes and 49 seconds earning all Northeast Region honors and placing the highest of any Red Fox in program history. Aside from Little, Gabriel Rodriguez, Kieran Donnelly, and Tyler Perry placed within the top 150 runners. Overall, Maris finished 21st out of 33 teams. To close things out, we've got men's basketball hosting Binghamton as the Bearcats are led by star guard Jacob Falco. In a tight first half, it's the big man, Patrick Gardner. He lines up a three and drills it. That's going to tie the game at 18 apiece early on here. In a crucial possession before halftime, Amaris' turnover leads to a Binghamton counterattack where Falco takes it all the way to the rim and he puts Binghamton up seven to go into the half. With three minutes left in the second half now, it's Gardner who comes up with the clutch and one for Maris, bringing the Foxes within seven. After a key stop, Maris looks to cash in on a bucket, and it's Cam Ferris who makes his way to the rim and gets the reverse layup to go. It's a five-point game with two minutes left. Binghamton needing an answer, and it's Dan Petcash. He delivers one as he is money with the shot clock winding down. That, cut, that brings the lead back up to seven, and with just 30 seconds left, Gardner, he gets an opportunity from three, but the shot rims out. Maris can't get the rebound bound and that would essentially ice the game for the Foxes. Maris would get a few more points down the stretch but it would be too little too late as Maris falls to Binghamton 79-75. Thank you for joining us on the Red Fox Report brought to you by the Center for Sports Communication. I'm Patrick Taylor and I'm Nick Vetai and we hope to see you next time.